Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully recover deleted browsing history on Google Chrome on your Windows computer. So if you've deleted your browsing history and you would like to recover or at least see some of the sites you might have visited prior, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that without too much of a hassle, hopefully. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So there's a couple different things we can try here. First thing I would actually would suggest would be to open up the start menu and type in CMD. Best match to go back with a command prompt. I'm going to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in IP config and then forward slash display DNS and hit enter. So if you had any recent connections it'd probably be listed under here however unfortunately it's not showing anything. I'm not sure something for you guys but definitely worth a shot. Another thing you can try here if you close out of here would be to go open up your Chrome web browser. There's going to be a link in the description of the video for myactivity.google.com so basically it just shows you your recent activity but you should have been signed into your Google account. We're going to go search this up in the URL address bar. So if you're not signed in it's not going to show any activity here but if you were signed into your Google account it should show recent websites you visited, videos you've watched, etc. So hopefully that would be able to resolve the issue as well. You'd be able to see what you've recently been browsing. So I would actually have a lot of faith that this probably would actually be the one that would work for most of you guys. One further thing you can try would be to go ahead and download Recuva, and we're going to try and actually recover our deleted browsing history that's stored on the computer. So, again, the link will be in the description of the video. It's a CCleaner product, pure form. So, just give it a moment here. I'm going to go download the free version. So, again, make sure you select the free version, okay? Every time I make one of these videos, there are people that say, oh, not free, oh, free trial, oh, are you trying to sell us something, oh, this is not free. Like, I just, there's always comments about that. You guys, free download, okay? Select the free download button, okay? Don't select any free trial or anything like that. Select the free download button on the page, okay? And it's not an advertisement, it's in this gray box, it's been like that for years, okay? And then again, free. Select the green download button for free. Okay? Because there's always people that just do not understand that. And then they, they say that I'm, I'm misleading them or something, which is crazy. Because this is a free application. There might be a paid offering, but you do not need the paid offering in order to do what we're doing in this tutorial. So... Anyway, now that that rant is done, we want to go ahead and open up our program. I'm going to go select Yes. Just give it a moment to load here. It's just frustrating how some people just don't understand how to read um, properly, and then they try and blame me for not showing them how to do it correctly even though it's all in a video format right here so you can clearly see what we're doing so anyway we're gonna go ahead and select the customize button you can uncheck options if you choose I'm going to actually uncheck the automatic check for updates start menu shortcut and I'm gonna remove everything basically except for the desktop shortcut here because all we wanted for is just one thing here so I'm gonna uncheck the release notes and then select run Rakuba select next now you want to go select the all files which should be default here select next and then select where it says in a specific location click the browse button so expand the local disk where Windows is installed on and then go and find the users folder so expand that whatever your username is expand that as well then you want to locate app data so if you do not see app data listed in here, we're going to just temporarily stop what we're doing with that. Open up the start menu, type in File Explorer. Best match should say File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. Set the View By tab, and then check mark where it says Hidden Items. And now if we go back here, and we collapse that and reopen it. Actually, it looks like we're probably going to have to 
close out of that so click on cancel and then we're going to select browse and there we go we should be able to see it now so again expand your local disk users your username and now you see there's an app data folder that's now visible because we need to go under that so select that and now do the same thing with the local folder and now there should be a Google folder in here so just go left click on that and select OK so now you want to select next and now that you are on this screen here you want to go ahead and select the option that just says next you don't have to enable deep scan right now but we're just going to go select start it shouldn't take very long here And there you go, guys. So it's kind of messy here, but you should be able to actually see a list of different websites you have been browsing to. So there are some images in here, but are there any websites recently saved? They should also be listed in here as well. You know, just giving you guys another option to work with there. So again, trying to keep this as simple as we can, not trying to make this too complex. So there's a chance that history is gone, to be honest. I mean, I think we all understood that. I mean, at this point, whenever you're trying to recover something, there's, there's no guarantee, but hopefully this was able to work for you guys. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.